Hey yo, it's another video, so let's go. Uh, I'm gonna show you where I'm at. You probably wouldn't expect it by reading everything that you see on the, on the ground. Well, where I'm at, uh, you wouldn't expect this. You look really close, you can see hieroglyphics, but the, like all around here, all around. It's hard to see it like in the in the evening time right now because the sun is going down. But like the sun was co coming up above that area right there, and it was like I was doing my spiritual stuff. So the spiritual stuff come first. So you see somebody with an onk right here too also. So they call it ne Negusalom. So if you look up the word Salem, it, it, you know, that word deals with magic. They, they call it Negusalom. I never knew that to them. So all, you know, like a lot of these, a lot of them, they got that around here. But look, if you look closely too, um, so Salem, uh, like the witch or the witches, like in, oh, you have in, uh, in Europe, uh, they have, you have all those uh, witch hunts, like uh, like when they, when they were finding out about, cause like when they had the, um, the religion uh, come up, they had to get rid of everything else. So they would have all of those witch hunts. So pretty much. So they, also, if you look closely, I was walking around, you see the uh, you see the phallus or the obelisk right here, right? But this is where the train goes right down through here, okay? So but look, if you look closely, that's hieroglyphics painted. So the same thing you see on that red, that red um, I was just showing you that little bitch I was showing you, you can actually see it across here. It's all around here, all through there. This is crazy to me. How you thinking like? It's, it's, it's something else behind this, but I, I had figured something out. But uh, in due time, when it, when it, when the video come out, uh, I'll come out with something talking about this. This is crazy, like. But I had you feel like something is so terrible. You people forget, just like in every neighborhood or every every city or whatever, when um, highly melanated people uh, move into the area, everybody else. Want, tends to want to, white people want to move out the area. That's how this situation was. I saw years ago, like on TV somewhere, I saw like a high school yearbook of uh, Compton. It was like number of white people in there. I know now I'm, this, is where, this is exactly where I'm at. So if you can look a little closer, <laughs> like where is he at? Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, I'm in Compton right now. <laughs> so like, yeah, so Compton, this is the city of Compton right here. As you can see, in the Bible says city of Compton. So, you can find this on Compton in Alameda. And I found out, I, I, I realized that was an Alameda in Houston, Texas too. But uh, anyway, keep going. But yeah, I was walking and the funny thing is, there's a, as you can look. Look a little closer, right here. Uh, uh, the Jordan symbol. It's a set symbol of a pyramid and a star on top of it. So, this is what I was in, uh, as you can see right here, as you can see from earlier, I was walking around. But, uh, but yeah, you have all these, uh, all these hieroglyphics surrounding this, this, pyra this pyramid right here. It's like a, like a, a, a smaller version of a pyramid. And you got more obelisks by the street, by the street right here. My, my, my voice is over here. Uh, Alameda and Compton, but it's way more of them. So I'm, I'm gonna walk down the street at the same time. I'm actually gonna uh, pause and record. All right. We're in the same situation across the street. As you see, all those benches have those hieroglyphics on them. So 
But you'll see this in the Washington Monument. You see it in, uh, in Kemet or Egypt. You'll find it, uh, pyramids in, um, in uh, La Venta, Mexico. Too, also. Um, pyramids all over the world, really. I'm just, I'm just showing you, like, they got, you have, you'll have this here, but nobody, you really, really don't even know why you're even fighting, like, the way you're fighting in a, in a city, and then you actually wiping yourself, wiping yourself out for another, for another type of people to come in and just, you know, squat here too. So, uh, <laughs> but I'm just keeping it real, it's the truth. But as you can see, hieroglyphics, they never wrote it, so how come, why, why come, all um, all that stuff um, with the Mayans. Well, Mayan in the beginning, pretty much, if you go to Tibet, Maya means the illusion, the matrix. So the Mayan, uh, the Mayans never made anything. So <laughs> they were just left with it when we, when uh, when uh, the Olmecs decided to leave Mexico for a particular purpose. But uh, let's keep going. All right, here's another spot further down. As you see, it's a park across the street on um, Palmer Street and uh, Isidore Hall. So if you're in the area, you, if you're in a if you're in a Compton area, you'll see it. You'll come over here and see this. So these are like pyramids right here too. Also, you can do whatever uh, like ritual wise you want to do. Highly melanated people, so-called black people, you got. You have uh, things that resemble um, hieroglyphics around you, and, it, and it's see you have another, you have, you have the um, the obelisk right there. You see, you find this in Rome, all the different, all the different, these different different places around where you'll find it. You have this right around right in your backyard, and we don't even know what we're looking at because we're always taught to worship something. You know, you got hieroglyphics and everything around around, around us. In the city of Compton, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I forgot what almost what park this is over here, uh, Wilson Park, in the city of Compton, right here. You'll see it, Wilson Park. So right across the street from it, it might just look like something everyday thing you see, but you do like your rituals, whatever, underneath these, these like these little canopies and all of that. You'll do that when you do that. You're actually opening yourself up. For something, uh, for more power. See, these are more obelisks right here. These are more obelisks. These are all Egyptian or Kemetic or or just uh, ancient people uh, um, had these all around the world. Because so-called black people uh, is highly highly melanated people. We we we're all we're from all parts of the world. The 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 best of every every country every continent is right here in America of, of highly melanated people. Gotta remember that shit. So we're the best of the world's best in one spot. That's why everything, everybody, everywhere in the world follows America. We don't realize it. We're the the, 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 the top of the top. Uh, that's why they be killing killing for our organs in over in America. They kill them for their organs over there and uh, across across seas too. But over here, they know it's a highly concentration of uh, what they, what we like to call in the occult world. Um, um, uh, alchemy. Alchemy is you blend a lot of different things together to get a, a, a final product, which would be like gold. Mix all the different metals to get a final product, and that's what we are—the greatest of the greatest of the highly highest forms of uh, melanin and carbon all around the world in this one place. These jungles, jungle—you know, the, the, the concrete jungles, what they call it. All right, but yeah. So uh, let me keep going. So you see, as you see the obelisk, you'll see it. This is right in your backyard. You live around these areas. Come out here and you do some rituals. You know what I'm saying? So you can have your, your kids go play at Wilson Park, and you come whatever, and you you all can come over here together and talk before y'all come out, and then go to the park or whatever it is. All right, this is, this is the one right across the street. So, hmm. So you got like a little less of those uh, those those red brick benches, but you do have one or two of them actually. You got like a metal one over here, but so but you still see 
Symbology. Symbology. Everywhere. It's like you, you don't know somebody running a game on you and they running a game on you. But they just, they, they just know they waiting for the end of the game so they can say they won. But you gotta start realizing, like, like um, the student always uh, has to go through the hardship or the, in martial arts to lose a lot to be the better, to be the uh, the best. Because if you if you if you only facing like the same type of type of style, you haven't seen these other styles anywhere else. So if you haven't seen these other type of styles, you can be defeated somewhere else, somewhere down the line, down in uh, in the near time. So. That's why when the, when the student goes on his journey, he don't see the same thing he saw in school, his dojo, or the the the, um, the country or the the continent he's from. It's totally different styles. So you see different styles, and you making your palate, making yourself stronger. So if we're doing this, uh, getting different forms of magic um, all from all around the world, it's just us. Making ourselves stronger from all around the world. We we are the best of all the versions of of highly melanated people, so called black people, in one spot, which is America. All right, why well, everybody come here? Even right here, on the street, you got it right here. Symbology. This is the eye of horror. If you turn it upside down, this way. Is the eye of Set, but uh, Horus takes on that same eye of Set. See, look. And look, I'm gonna show you this too. Also, they got step pyramids right there. Right where that light is, step pyramids right there. You got them going all the way around. See, another step pyramid right there. So, it's all around us on, on, right here. Never even noticed it. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and just say it like they'll put certain things around certain areas, but and it's like the same thing with the movies, the music, um, uh, art, all those different things um, accumulate to something we're supposed to be figuring out. That means we ain't on our job as highly melanated people or so called black people, we're not on our job. The answers is make these people put this stuff out a comic book, video games, all these stuff, so we can use to learn books, movies, all this stuff. But it's on us if we don't if we don't do it, if we don't learn what was in front of us, or get the get the picture, or get the drift of what's going on. If we don't get it, then they can make this shit all day and put this shit all around us all day, every day. But as long as we don't get it, we the one that's that's fucked up. We the ones that's fucked up. So if we don't get it, what that means, the, the, the um, it, everything's gonna stay the same. If we don't start to understand and realize what's around us, we we our ancestors end up making uh, having to us to help these people in order for us to make certain things in certain places. Cause they wouldn't be able to do it by themselves. I didn't I didn't realize that you know growing up, coming up in this learning, like I'm still learning coming up this way. You you be like you be mad be like trying to figure out what why this happened why that happened or why when when this is gonna change or whatever but that's the thing we the ones gotta change ain't nothing ain't nothing gonna come out of the sky for us because we are the aliens highly melanated people so called black people. we the only ones you see around the world can take nothing a a a, 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 a vision or a, a dream or something and just turn it into something everybody always get that. From our ancestors or uh, us from a different time, and we we the only ones not not trying trying to man well we we try to manifest it just a stunt over some over o, over some other somebody somebody else that look just just like us, but we trying to stunt because what 
we got they, we got their mentality, and we got an, um, we got we got the uh, white person's or crackers mentality, but they don't. We got and they got our uh, scientific stuff, learning and shit. We not we not even coming close because we 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 uh, we got their mind state. I want I, I want to uh, I want to uh, shit on this nigga. I want to uh, uh, treat this bitch like she ain't shit either. Like you know what I'm saying? Like all kind of shit. Like it be wild ass shit. And we got we got to do better. If we not doing better. How we gonna how we gonna get this shit? I mean, I, it's not like oh we supposed to, how we supposed to be acting. No, not it's not about how we supposed to be acting. We the, uh, these Bibles, these Qurans, and these uh, um um the uh, the Hebrew book. The, the Torah, they they um they all have they um uh, had their purpose. That is the what to have these people um that uh, white people and uh you hear that dog barking? So <laughs> no, no, I'm saying like so I'm gonna keep going. So I, I, they're they're the ones that we gave them the religion in order for them to teach them how to act. So we were spirit, we are and still are spiritual people. It's just that we haven't awakened to the things that we left behind for these people to keep uh, around for us. As being custodians, now it's up to us to take what we left behind for them, uh, in order for us to remember. All right, so killing God, killing God daily. We out here killing each other, but we don't realize what we killing for. So we killing, we killing the wrong way and the wrong people getting killed. But things happen how they're supposed to happen, and so as long as you're able to, uh, how can I put this? able to um, analyze see they, they don't expect us to analyze highly motivated people we only they, they only think we only do stuff just to make money which is very true that's how we are in most cases we're only gonna do that just just to make some money but if you do that that's 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 the wrong way to go because if you're doing that if you're doing that then um the answers, answers can tell what you're really doing it for. They, they can tell you're not really doing it for the right reasons. You're not really doing it to ch- make some real change. But uh, yeah, I'm, I wanted to go ahead and uh, I was in there. Uh, I got answers that said, hey, we need you somewhere. And I, I was right there. But uh, oh yeah, I want to show you this too also before I get up out of here. And the crazy thing is, uh, this is the, this is where they, from what it looks like, what what would be uh, the same part where they film uh, that scene um, for the DOC, uh, the uh, the the silver uh, sample. Oh, is it funky enough? Uh, is it funky enough? If you look at it very closely. They um, it's funny. I real I, I seen it. So, um, directors go to school for mythology, and if you watch that video at the beginning, there's this large can rolling across the screen. And you'll see like this. I don't know if you can see it. But this is this is a bridge at the beginning of that. Uh, is it funky enough video? You can see like something roll across the screen, and it, and if you look at the video close enough, it looks like an eye, and it makes the eye of Horus, and didn't. The DOC get into an accident, just like Horace lost his left eye, but uh, uh, the DOC lost his voice in that accident. He, be, he became a writer for Dr. Dre, and he wrote for uh, Snoop Dogg on certain albums, a lot of different ra- rappers too also. But yeah, the, D- the DOC is actually from Dallas, but I don't know if you can really see it like that, but, and also this water, uh, uh, the water comes from like the coast where the Long Beach is, like Artesia water, goes all the way throughout LA in uh, Los Angeles but uh yeah like so that's something coming from the something that comes into the, the city from outside on the uh, on the out, outskirts or, or the, on the uh, the coast or the actual coast of the city all right but yeah just going to show you they are it's just like remnants of our ancestors are all around just like we're scattered all around we just gotta put our put the pieces back together and realize who and what we are and what we're capable of all right kill god daily god don't like us and he don't love us stuff so stop giving your energy to god fuck god all right yeah god
Oh. Oh, I, oh, right here. Look at what I see. I don't know if you can see it. If you see that, that star right here, that's the, uh, the star Sirius. But if you go on above it, there's a, a large dragon. It makes a complete dragon. And that's uh, Horus turns into the dragon or Set Typhon. Set Typhon, Typhon and, um, or Typhonian is before the, uh, the, the, the kingdom or the, um, the, the, uh, the kingdom as in like the, the kings and queens. So that was before that time, the, di the dynasty or the dynastic period. So Horus turns into the dragon or Tahuti or Hermes. But yeah, that's another story for another time. But I'm on the uh, uh, I'm on the river trail, as it says. I'm at the, this is a river trail, right? People go running or run up and down this area. But this river goes all the way up and down to Long Beach, all the way up and through LA. A lot of different parts further north, but uh, but yeah, kill God, kill God daily. All right, nigga.